one last piece. Uh, there are some legislators who suggest uh, that I resign because of accusations that made uh, are made against me. The I was elected by the people of the state. I wasn't elected by politicians. Uh, I'm not going to resign because of allegations. Uh, the premise of resigning because of allegations uh, is actually anti-democratic. Uh, and it's we've always done the exact opposite. You know, the system is based on due process uh, and the credibility of the allegation. Anybody has the ability to make an allegation in democracy, and that's great. But it's then the credibility of the allegation. Uh, and we've gone through this with the legislature. I remember when we set up uh, Jacob, we set up this whole elaborate process that the accusation was private. Uh, the person who was accused got a private letter, but the accusation was, was uh, private. Why? Because uh, it's damaging to publicize allegations before you know that they are credible. Uh, Jacob has hundreds of allegations, but until they are reviewed, they are private. Uh, the Inspector General's office is private, uh, hundreds of accusations, but until you go through the due process. So we have the Attorney General who's doing an independent review she has all the allegations. Anybody can make an allegation to her uh, and let them uh, let the attorney general do her job. She's very good. She's very competent. Uh, and that will be due process. And then we'll have the facts. Uh, that's why Senator Schumer said, let the attorney general do her investigation. Senator Gillibrand said, let the attorney general do her investigation. Um, Congressman Jeffrey said, let the attorney general do her investigation. White House spokesperson said, let the, uh, uh, let the attorney general do the investigation because that's democracy. Uh, so, uh, no, there is no way I resign. Let's do the attorney general investigation. Let's get the findings and then we'll go from there. Uh, but, uh, I'm not going to be distracted by this either. We have to get a budget done in three weeks. We have a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do for this state. Uh, this is not about uh, me and accusations about me. The attorney general can handle that. Uh, this is about doing the people's business. And this next six months, I believe, will determine the future trajectory for New York State. What we do in this budget, how successful we are in rebuilding, how positive we portray this state going forward, how resilient we appear. Uh, we have to say to those New Yorkers who are looking at us and saying, do they have a future or do they not have a future? Uh, should I move to a warmer climate? Uh, is New York ever going to come back? We have six months of an open window where we have to say, uh, you're damn right, we're coming back. And we're coming back stronger than ever before. Uh, and not just say it, we're gonna show it, and you're gonna see uh, new public works, and you're gonna see uh, a real shot in the arm uh, for this state. You're gonna see us do vaccines where we're gonna have the massive vaccination effort uh, where people will see this is going to be a thing of the past. We're going to beat COVID. Uh, no government is better at doing its job than this government. And we've shown that all through COVID. Uh, and we're not going to be distracted from that.